the Air Force women pull off a 75-66 victory over visiting San Diego State here inside Clune Arena to improve to four and five in conference play, eight and 12 overall. Gene Parker, Jason Carter, Gene, game overall, fast paced. Coach G said it, loves the offense, not so much the defense, and we saw some spurts of that throughout the yes, game. Yes, and the big thing is they play defense when it mattered most, when it's coming down to the fourth quarter, where it seemed like San Diego State could get back in the game, but they really kept them at bay, and they converted on their free throws on the other end, too. So on both ends in the fourth quarter, they did a great job. Take a look at the overall stats, and everything improved for Air Force. <laughs> you just pointed at it, that top number for the Falcons. 48% shooting, that's wonderful. And they had four players scoring double digits, and three of those four players were shooting 50% or above. If you're Coach G, I mean, you, you wish for that every single night. Yeah, they put up 81 the last time they were out, 75 tonight. So the offense certainly clicking for Air Force over the last week or so here in Clune Arena. As we take a look at some of the highlights from this game, San Diego State, we talked about it had a huge height advantage. And early on, they went inside a lot. This is Dorn Stouter with a two there as she got that bucket and then they kick it out. Three pointer for Ramos. Ramos finished the day with just 10 points under her scoring average. So the Falcons did a great job on her. Haley Jones had a game and a half. The step around there, Conroe with a double double. She got this bucket here down low as she had double double in points and rebounds. Pace frenetic on both sides. Here's a fast break there. And then Immel would pick things up in the second half. Kalen, check out this Kobe Bryant-esque <laughs> move. The little fadeaway off glass and one for Kalen. Nicely done for her. She ended with a team high 16. And then Riley Snyder, we have seen her do this a lot this year. Just fill it up for a period of time. They're inside here wide open and she is not gonna miss many of those. And then kind of sealed it off. The last real big offensive play for the Falcons and one. And of course, the hand raise as Air Force pulls off the victory, as we mentioned, improving to 8 and 12 on the year. They are 7 and 3 here in Clune Arena. The Falcons return to action on Saturday. They will visit Colorado State, a team they beat by 15 about three weeks ago. For the entire Falcon Vision crew and my partner, Gene Parker, I'm Jason Carter. Thanks for tuning in as Air Force gets the big win this evening on the Mountain West Network.